Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Feel free to subscribe. Hit the bell for more content when I upload it. Hit the like button. Like, 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 like. And uh, share away. We share away here to, uh, for uh, the love of Star Wars. Uh, today's topic is just what really happened and how much money did Lucas film and how right were we about what Disney actually lost from Lucasfilm uh, being a failure and from and across the board from the movies to publishing. And uh, is, Alden, is Alden Ehrenreich's career dead? These are the topics. Have fun watching. Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, as you saw in the, uh, the preview of this video, we're going to be talking about two subjects today. Uh, Disney's SEC filing uh, showing across the board losses for Lucasfilm. It's the only division of uh, Disney Corporation that is losing money. And um, and Marvel comic books as well, but uh, basically no one's buying uh, Disney Star Wars comic books uh, at all. And they're publishing in general, but the novels aren't selling. Um, and, and you know, they can make up a little bit of the stopgap with Marvel doing so well in the movies. But um is still with the, 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 the absolute horrifying flop that solo was and the actual I would I would say mediocrity mediocre to flop uh, The Last Jedi became uh pretty much proves that Lucasfilm is uh, the broken leg on the four-legged horse of Disney, if you know what I mean. Uh, and where does it come from? Which is what I'm going to talk a little bit about. Uh, it'll be mostly my opinion. Um, and then we're going to talk a little bit about did Solo destroy Alden Ehrenreich's career? I have a lot to say about that. Especially since I was just on Twitter and uh, some douchebag showed a picture of him with Harrison Ford and of course Harrison Ford's about four inches taller than he is and it's like oh he they're just they're both Han Solo no they're not they're not quit fucking rationalizing it he was horrible Alden Ehrenreich was horrible <laughs> okay you can sit there and rationalize it or try to give him a break because you want to be nice I'm not nice about this reality Reality isn't nice. Why the fuck was he allowed to even go anywhere near that role? Why? Anyway, let's go. Let's go on to a uh, this cosmic cos, cosmicbooknews.com article about uh, Disney's SEC filing. Well, it went out last last week, and basically, uh, it showcased across the board losses for Lucasfilm. And that Disney, because of it, has shown a, a loss from 2016, you know, after The Force Awakens came out, uh, and so on and so forth. And, you know, a 4% loss is kind of big when you're talking about billions of dollars. Um, and when you look, when you start digging into the numbers, you really see how bad it's gotten, uh, uh, for for Lucasfilm itself, now they they're they're not selling comics. Uh, the books aren't selling. Um, you know, if you can get one, you know, secondhand, and you really want to read it, that's how I think a lot of people are doing it. Uh, people just don't want to buy off the shelf at Barnes and Noble or Amazon or anywhere else that they can buy these books. And the reason why is because the writing's bad. Uh, the message is bad, and it's not Star Wars. I mean, someday someone's going to try to explain to me in a rational, logical way why Chuck Wendick and several other authors, Claudia Gray, Amy Vincent, were allowed anywhere near Star Wars. Uh, they're not helping the story. They're not about forwarding, you know, carrying George Lucas's vision on. They don't know what it is. Um... They are about their political agenda, and people don't want to read that, right? I mean, it's almost like when you when you pick up 
one of Gray's novels or or one of Wendix or uh, Daniel Jose Olders or, or whomever. It's almost like they think they own the property and can do whatever the, they want to the legacy characters to change them. And I've talked about changing history. You can't change history. You can't. What happened that happened. You can't change a legacy character like Lando Calrissian to reflect your values because he doesn't belong to you, right? He still belongs to George Lucas. He still belongs to the stories, the OT. And you have to, and people want consistency, okay? And if you're not going to give them consistency, they're not going to be happy. And they will bulk. And, uh, you know, you've got Wendick with his genderless pronoun, G and G, whatever the, that was. And, of course, we have the advent of Vice Admiral Gender Studies, who's an astrologer more than uh, a student of the military arts. Thank you, Amy Vincent. And, of course, then we have to change Leia. Because we can't just have Leia being a normal straight woman, right? Because that's exactly what she, that what uh, uh, Amy Vincent was going for, even if she didn't really come out and say it, you know, because she is, has an inability to write normal stories because she's so involved in her own petty little political bullshit. All right. So why, why they got hired, I don't know, but Disney itself is suffering because of them. Okay, let's go on further. Um, the comic books. I have seen some of the art. I haven't bought any, but, you know, again, you're changing Han Solo's origin story. You brought, you bring back, uh, uh, that girl that, whose name I always forget, who, he had to, they, they were friends. They were, they were having a, a, a fling and, they're racing across the Maw, and um, her ship got pulled in, pulled into the gravity well of a black hole, and he basically had to go in and save her. They get back to Nal Shot, uh, the Smuggler's Moon, Narshada, and uh, she says, "Oh, let's get married." He and Chewie jump on the Falcon and go to the corporate sector as far across the galaxy as they could get. All right, but now we have him. Marrying this bitch for a scam? What the f what? Why would you change the story? I mean, it doesn't add anything to it. And it detracts from his character. Okay? I mean, no one is saying he, he was as lily white and pure. I mean, that guy? No. What we're saying is, this would, he would never do that. And because we know the character's better than the people. Writing this shit... And all they want to do is tear him down. I mean, that's that's their whole that's their whole mission is to tear him down, to tear Luke down, to ruin Leia. And, and people aren't going to buy the comic books. All right, that's why. That's why you're losing money. Okay, let's go to the movies now. Sure, uh, Avengers uh, is keeping up, basically filling the holes that. Um, uh, Lucasfilm's poor uh, film uh, performances have left there, left. But here's the thing. It's still a loss. And when you're, as a business person, you're looking at this saying, why isn't Lucasfilm, with the biggest, highest property in, in, film, in film history, not performing better than Avengers? And see, this is the problem. And this is what has gotten Kathleen Kennedy booted into a spot where she can't do anything or touch anything anymore. This is why they cleared everything, all of her projects out. And all they're doing is, is the Game of Thrones uh, thing, uh, John Favreau's Mandalorian, and uh, the prequels to Rogue One. That's it. All male-led. Why? Because this, fe this, fem this forces female shit doesn't work anymore and and it also has to go and, and, and we've talked about this a million times how Lucasfilm has treated the fans 
uh, I know Bob Iger's seen it when he was on Twitter. Um, I wouldn't doubt that he still is, but under an assumed name, so he can actually keep up with what's going on. Um, we all know that he did leave Twitter, and I'm wondering if it's because of the SEC filing. We don't know. I mean, this is this SEC filing is a big deal because they can't deny anymore the failures, the utter horrifying failures, failure that is Lucasfilm right now under Kathleen Kennedy. Um, you know, but it, but it, it, it's not only her disregard of the fans who've been there for 40 years. It's uh, the fact that the employees, her, her allies that are still there, still continue to treat fans like shit. Um, we've got this, I mean, they're hired shells Jason Ward, whom we know was hired to try to chase off fans with making Star Wars a dot nut and his crazy wife. Steel Saunders with Steel Wars. We've got that nutbag, Brian Young, who, you know, not only attacks fans every day that are like normal people, but, you know, now we find out that he's been, he goes into uh, underage sex chats and talks about Kylux, which is a ship between General Hux and Kyle Ron and... <laughs> Why? Why? For God's sakes. A, why would he do that? And B, why? Why that? Why is that a ship? God almighty. <clears throat> and we know he does that. Uh, we know that he, he's basically there probably to get, to get uh, little girls. Uh, uh, if not jail bait, close to jail bait. And let me tell you this, this. There's a reason why he likes Alden Ehrenreich because Alden Ehrenreich, unlike Harrison Ford, isn't a threat, right? Because he's not an alpha, all right? That's why. So anyway, but you know, and these, but Brian Young and these guys have treated fans like shit. We've got Geek Girl Diva. I mean, and the funny thing is you can throw these numbers in their faces and they won't listen to you. Margaret Thatcher once said, facts are stubborn things. Ronald Reagan reiterated that. Um, this is a, 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 a truth. Facts are stubborn things. The numbers don't lie. I will put uh, the CosmicNews.com article in a, uh, either a pin note or in the, in the uh, description so you guys can read the numbers for yourselves and look. The numbers don't lie. Star Wars is dying, and it's the reason why is because the poor decision-making of Kathleen Kennedy the way the fans have been treated, the lack of talent uh, in the publishing side, the comic book side, and the lack of talent in 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 making the movies. I mean, J if J.J. Abrams is the best you can do, and and I like J.J. I think he's a nice guy. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bag on him, but the fact that Kathleen Kennedy is such an insecure beta female that she can't deal with a guy like Ridley Scott, who could have done an excellent job. Uh, Christopher Nolan, whom I have a story about him and I'm not prepared to, to, to tell you guys this, but uh, yeah, but uh, it'll shock the shit out of you. And it's about Star Wars. Would have done an excellent job. Peter Jackson, who is a pro at creating these beautiful worlds. I mean, we all went, we all went in awe to see the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit, right? Okay, those guys are directors. They are writers. They know what they know what the audience wants. Calf, and, but they're also alpha males, and they won't. They want to do what they they want to make the movies they want to make, but they know what the audience wants, and they want to see what the audience wants to see. All right, um, and Kathleen Kennedy couldn't handle. I mean, I can't imagine sit, her sitting at a round table discussion with Ridley Scott. She he she would leave crying. I mean, that's what she would do because she's too much of a wimp and she can't deal with a man, with men. Tell me why she's still married. Anyway, um, so, you know, all of that led to what we've got here with Lucasfilm. And this is why it's losing money. And this is why it's in trouble. And this is why Star Wars is dying. Uh, I wouldn't even be surprised if they actually just shut down any discussion of making Indiana Jones 5 which breaks my heart because Harrison Ford really wants to do that last movie. And, you know, I, I wish, I, I, 
and I would really like for him to have that. All right, I really, really would. Um, now let's go to Alden Ehrenreich. So anyway, an article came out uh, in you know on this uh, site called Decider, basically free Alden Ehrenreich. Uh, basically intimating what I saw that uh, Han Solo and, and Soilo destroyed his career, or at least it looks like it did. Uh, if you go to his IMDb page, uh, Aaron Reich has nothing public. Uh, you would think that that role would have propelled him into other um, big uh, leading man roles, but he's not a leading man. Not everybody knows it. Um, uh, uh, what basically the article comes down to is Disney needs to let him go and he needs to go back and doing smaller, I think, character roles, uh, like he did in, uh, Hail Caesar, uh, to get back on, on some sort of career footing because, you know, go look at his IMDb page. He has nothing public. There aren't any projects out there that he's making. And, you know, what worked before might have worked had they chosen somebody different. Uh, I have, have, I don't feel sorry for the guy. I really, really don't. Um, you'd have to have a lot of cojones and hubris to think you were going to take that role and run with it the way Harrison Ford did. Um, you know, and my vision, I, I, I have a political cartoon in my head of this little twerpy little guy looking at a giant pair of boots, you know, you know, they're too big for you. You can't, you, you, this is not you. This is, see, this is what, and I've said this before, this is what any, a rational person would have done when faced with Spielberg going, yeah, but my accountant's son really wants the role. No, but Steven, the answer to both these questions I'm going to ask you is the same. Question number one. Are you a producer in this movie? Have you done any, have you produced any Star Wars movies? And with, back in 1975, when George was casting Han Solo, do you honestly think, in the world of you, with Kurt Russell sitting in the room, with, you know, Burt Reynolds and Chris Walken, and you got this guy walking around building shelves for Francis Ford Coppola named Harrison Ford. Do you honestly think that kid would have gotten anywhere past headshot and resume? No, he wouldn't have. See, what is lost on Lucasfilm and Steven Spielberg is the fact that Lucas based Han on the gunfighter. I mean, Harrison Ford himself has said that, 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 that Star Wars is a bit of a Western. Okay. The gunfighter, the gambler, the cowboy. Uh, John Wayne's characters from the Searchers to Rio Bravo, McClintock, you name it, uh, True Grit. Clint Eastwood's uh, Man With No Name. Wyatt Earp. Bat Masterson, Clay Allison, uh, uh, you know, you name it, Jimmy, J Johnny, Johnny Ringo, Doc Holliday, uh, and there's a, a certain feel you want for that character, uh, lanky, tall, charismatic, kind of mysterious, um, very independent, uh, there's a, and there's a, a masculine charm that needs to be there. And Alden Ehrenreich doesn't have it. Um, and Han Solo is not a, a role for somebody who just doesn't have it to play. And, you know, he was in, like, way over his head. Uh, he, you know, and I don't, I don't feel sorry for him. I really, really don't. You know, you know, the story about him, oh, running, running, going to, I think, what, Santa Monica Pier and going on a ride by himself over and over again when he found out he got the role. It's like, what the, 
Dude, I don't feel sorry for you. I'm not going to clap, put my mitts together and clap. I'm not. Okay? You know, you had no reason to even think you could do this. And guess what? You failed miserably. There you go. So, should Disney just buy out his contract and let him go? Yeah, of course they should. Let him go. Uh, you know, the movie lost $250 million, and part of it was, part of the reason why it lost $250 million is because of him. All right? So, it's a very interesting article. Um, my, my, I'm a hard ass, so my compassion for this kid, this twerp, this, you know, barista, uh, cosplayer, um, is non-existent. Uh, you know, there are other there are other people out there that deserve, uh, you know, compassion. He made a mistake. Hopefully, he'll learn from it and find other roles that are more suited to his body style, to his his talent. You know, um, you know, go back to playing roles like he did in Hail Caesar and stuff like that. Because, you know, this is, you know, like I said. You imagine the little teeny tiny guy looking at a giant pair of black boots. That's all Darren Reich looking at Harrison Ford's boots. I mean, dude, son, you, they don't fit you. They're too big. That, that's, that is a mountain you can't climb. You know, and a man's got, and, and as a, uh, what was it? A Clint Eastwood movie, and I can't remember what it was. It was one of the uh, spaghetti westerns. A man's got to know his own limits. There you go. Steph is not compassionate towards him. Steph does not feel sorry for him. Steph says, you should have known better than to think you could play that role. Okay? This is Steph. Setting out. I'll see you around the outside. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. And thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me today. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was a little bit uh, um, educational. Uh, I know I'm, I'm a bit rough on a... Uh, on certain people but life is like that you gotta accept it um when you uh, uh think that you're capable of doing something you're not capable of you know reality bites sorry alden so this is steph